Hey guys, I wanted to share with you this mostly randomly generated room. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of open space and there's just basically stuff everywhere. And all I have to do to reset it is press this button. And as you can see, we have a slightly different room. So the furniture is all arranged differently and in different spots. So the torches are in different places. We have this nice little chimney effect with the furnaces, which are facing the wrong way, unfortunately. And we have a nice little flower on the bench here, supported by a pole, and the room goes up to this height up here. So if you haven't guessed already, I am using a combination of spread players up here and the at R tag. So when I push the button, the first thing it does is clear the area and kill the items in there, because when you destroy flower plots, they actually just destroy the item that's inside as well and drop the item. And then it will spread the players which is basically pretty simple, it just spreads these armor stands out. Now these are on barrier blocks so they don't go all the way down there. And then there's a series of fill commands and summon commands for falling sand. So here I've targeted a random armor stand called random room and I'm just filling in an area with furnace and I'm with a data value of 1 which just makes it face a certain direction and then I've set it to keep which means it won't replace what's already there, it will only replace air. So as you can see, the furnace will never actually replace existing blocks, which I think is quite interesting. So I've done this for a whole heap of things like cobblestone walls, and if you're wondering how the torches work every time in the flower pots, because they actually have to be on top of a block or next to a block in order to work. I've done that by just summoning in a falling sand entity. So there's the execute command again with the, with the randomness, and it will summon a falling sand, just somewhere around there, a block flower pot with a tile entity data of a red flower. So it will drop the poppy, which used to be the rose, but now it's just the poppy. So you get these cool little randomly generated rooms that you can make. So they're very customizable. The only downside is, is that they're quite unpredictable, but you can manage that as well. And I guess it can be a little too ordered, so these rooms will also end up looking the same. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this very quick episode. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'd like to see your random room generators as well. And I will do a video on them, and I will shout you out in my next video. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.